Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Alright, at the end of the last episode, I had run out of gold to do the arena. Because I'd been doing so mediocre that I wasn't getting much gold from doing the arena runs. But, thankfully, I was playing around in the play mode and managed to get whatever the... Whatever the thing is where you kill... Like, you beat 100 opponents. It surprised me, and it gave me 300 gold, which was great. So now I can continue my Hearthstone Arena addiction. I've also... I'm also going to do a couple things differently. I've been looking up tips on how to play Arena, and there's some things I think I should do. Uh, one, apparently Hunter is normally really, really bad for Arena, so I'm never, ever going to pick it again, probably, <laughs> for Arena. No more Hunter. Another thing is, I think I need to prioritize low-cost minions more. I think I need more of them. And the other is that, um, what was it? Oh yeah, I think I need to be more aggressive with the cards that I toss out when I'm selecting my hand at the beginning. Yeah, I think I need to get rid of all, virtually any card that's four cost and above, I think. So, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, I'm actually hoping for a mage. Yeah, I feel like playing a mage. Mage, 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 mage. No, no mage, but it's okay. There's a rogue. And rogues are fun. Okay. Doomsayer. No. Huh. Okay, I don't like any of these. I really don't like any of these. The chance of being able to combo the murloc with other murlocs. Mm. As... Am I likely to have that many cards? I would need five cards for this to actually be a good card to have. Five cards in my hand. How likely is that? I don't think it's very likely. I'm going to go with the Murloc War Leader and hope I can get some low-cost Murlocs. I mean, okay, the chance of getting other Murlocs in this draft is extremely high. And a 3-3 three, three for 3 isn't horrible, it's just mediocre, so... Yeah, I'm going to go with that. We have a Murloc Rogue deck. Let's go to the River Crocolisk. Sap. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really care for the Torn Warrior all that much. Let's go Sap. Can remove a really nasty unit from the battlefield and get rid of all of the value from it, or a lot of the value from it, if the opponent has sunk a lot of buffs into it. Let's go with that. Really no contest here. Assassin's Blade. Absolutely. Let's go to the River Crocolisk. Hmm. These are all good. Do I want another Assassin's Blade? I kind of do. Especially if I can get some poison. Really, these are all good cards, but I'm gonna go with the blade. Oh, deadly poison, hello. Perfect. Has charge, will I have a weapon equipped? Hmm. Well, it's probably just gonna die. The chance of being able to use this charge, given my class ability and my two weapons, is very high. But again, it's probably just gonna die. Hey! Oh, that's not hey, holy crap. Wrong keys. Um, I don't have any card draw, but then again, Novice Engineer kind of sucks. I mean, I don't know about the Novice Engineer, like, it's a really... It really can't do much. It's a 1-2. I mean, uh, it's not very good. But again, I have no card draw. Jungle Panther or Novice Engineer? Let's go with the card draw. I don't know if that's the right play. Oh, hello! Wow, do I want a third weapon? I do, but I don't know... ...if I would want yet another one. But I think I should go with it. I just remembered another funny play that I did the other day. Ooh, tell me. Ooh, 
There's a murloc. Yeah, I don't like any of the other cards anyway, so let's go with the murloc and synergize with my murloc war leader. Sinister Strike. Hell no. Argent Squire. Uh, I don't have any four costers. Mm, another one coster? It's a pretty good card. I put up a Venture Co. Mercenary on the field. Eh, I'm gonna go with it. Ooh. Hmm. And I reduced his attack to one and then completely ignored it. Oh, I hate it when that happens, at least when I'm the one playing the Ventrico. It's so frustrating to put a Ventrico out on turn five and think like, ooh, look at all this early pressure I'm gonna get out. Those, there's no way they can deal with it. And then, they do. Right, um, I don't know if I want another one coster. See, the thing is, low costers are actually particularly good for rogues, now that I think about it, because of the combos. But yeah, de deadly poison is just way too powerful. I'll go with another one. Let's go with Mad Bomber. <laughs> so for a good amount of the game, they were trying, trying desperately to get it killed. <laughs> uh, just get it off their board. Get this Ventrico off my board, I need the room. Okay. I'm prioritizing low costers, but that doesn't mean I don't want any higher costers. Betrayal's some nice removal, which at the moment I don't really have, do I? Aside, I mean, I have my weapons. But... Hmm. I kind of want the Acidic Swamp Ooze, just in case I go against someone else who has a weapon. Fan of Knives. It's either that or the Frost Elemental. Let's go with that. Raging Worgen. Well, I am getting a lot of low costers. What the hell? Okay. Alarmobot. No. Angry Chicken. No. Wild Pyromancer, it is. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. Hmm. Well, Sinister Strike is just terrible. Terrible. So I don't want that. Conceal, give your minion stealth until your next turn. I... Could be nice, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know if there's many situations where that could be really good. You could use it to combo it with something, because it's only a one-coster, but... Hmm. I almost want to go with the Tauren Warrior here. Let's do it. Alright, let's go with something bigger. Fender Vargas. Good card. Vanish. Hell no. Mad Bomber or Store Pine Commando? Well, I don't have any five coster minions. Alright, hold on. Let, let me see how many two costers I have. Minions, that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yellow. Another Mad Bomber. The Device. Well, I really need card draw, don't I? But Devias! Hmm. Fan of Knives. I do have a Raging Worgen and a Tauren Warrior. Oh wait, no. Fan of Knives isn't going to do anything with that. I'm still stuck in Warrior mode with their... Uh, what the hell is it called? Whatever the one is that does one damage to the entire board. Yeah, I'm still stuck in that mode. But no, Fan of Knives does not affect your own minions. Never mind. Hmm. Let's go with the Gnomish Inventor. I need, I need some more guard draw. 
Ooh, Defender of Vargas or Archon Commander? Hmm, they're both good. They are both good. Let's go with the Archon Commander. Alright, I would like some more class-specific cards, please. Have you noticed the habit of the cards you throw out of your initial hand showing up as the next card you draw? Yes! Yes. Definitely. I've heard a lot of people say the same thing, too. Another Raging Worgen? Get a lot of rage on the board? Or a Silverhand Knight, which is just a damn good card. I have a lot of two-costers. Let's go with the Silverhand Knight. Backstab. Hmm. Do I have a lot of stuff to combo? I have the Defias. I have my Perdition's Blade. Is that it? Do I have any other combos aside from those two? No, that's it. Hmm. What are the chances I'm going to get a lot of stuff to combo in the next four cards after this? I don't know. But, YOLO. Ooh, Shiv. Well, again, that's another card that's particularly nice for combos. Deal a bit of damage, maybe remove something, replace itself, and hopefully combo. Ah, man, my SI agents aren't even here. Please, I need com- whoa. Hello. Okay. Hmm. How much card draw do I have? I have one Novice Engineer and one Gnomish Inventor. Napegel seems pretty nice. But then again, do I even... Do I have any taunt at all? I believe I do. Or was it? Yeah, there's the Torn Warrior, and then I have the Defender of Argus, which can make taunts. Hmm. I mean, if I can't protect it, it's just gonna get beaten in the face. And it has no damage potential whatsoever. I don't really want to go with it. Not unless I had a lot of taunt, which I don't. Tink Master. It can be a fun card. It can. A lot of utility. Could take down an opponent's extremely powerful creature, or could buff one of your very weak creatures. Hogger. Pretty good card. I think. I mean, if you can get them to stick, like, you can just take control of the board, just spit out taunts and they can't punch through it. And just continue to punch from behind the taunt wall. But since I'm prioritizing low costers, let's go with Tink Master. It's fun! Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I want a third Deadly Poison. I mean, Deadly Poison's really, really nice, but I don't know if I want a third one. And this Murloc, Murloc Tidehunter would combo really well with my Murloc War Leader. And this summons two. So it'd be two things that would get buffed. And it's a low coster. Let's go with that. Right. Let's go with the Crazed Alchemist. Okay, um, I have a lot of low costers. And I have a lot of weapons. That's a good thing. The bad thing is I have very freaking little to combo. There's the Defias. There's the Perdition's Blade. Was there anything else? I don't remember. There's not much. There's like two, maybe three things. So, yeah, I'm missing my SI agents, and I'm missing a lot of my other stuff. Like, what is it called? Eviscerate? And things like that? But, let's see how it goes. My mana curve looks like a gigantic mountain. I don't know. Ro Rogue's fun to play. At least when you have a lot of combos. In this case, I don't. But I can smash a lot of stuff in the face, which is fun. 
So again, I have a lot of low costers, so if I have anything that costs probably four or above, I'm probably just gonna get rid of them. I faced Golden Jiraxes. <laughs> uh. Valera versus Uther. 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 Watch your back. Why, hello there, low costers. Wild Pyromancer, do I really want you? This is a spell, right? Deadly Poison? It's gotta be. Maybe? It could f totally screw me over. Okay, Wild Pyromancer, you're weird. I don't know how to deal with you. I'm gonna get rid of you. Goodbye. That's not better. Now that I think about it, maybe I should have kept it, because it could get rid of their Argent, uh... Not Argent. The light better. Protects me. Oh, hi. They're a Silverhand Recruit, since it would do one damage to everything. Anyway... Hmm. Probably, yeah, just let's just coin Mad Bomber and pretty good chance I could kill that Argent Squire. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One, one, two, two. Oh. The pleasure is mine. It's okay though. I'll settle for that. Next turn, yep. Go past that, of course. Probably just get a River Crocolisk out next turn. Fan of knives, please. That's not a fan of knives. Right, the Acidic Swamp Ooze will die to just the simple Murdlock Tide Hunter, so I'm thinking the River Crocolisk since it has three health. Alternatively, I could punch that thing in the face. Nah, it's good stuff on the board. Draxus has defeated Spectre. Now, do I kill one of the things they have? No. I don't think I do. No, let's go for them. Yeah, they'd have to sacrifice everything against my River Crocolisk to kill it, unless they have a removal spell. Don't mess with no. Wow, I'd really like a fan of knives right about now. That is not a fan of knives. Hmm. Like, should I even bother attacking those things? This thing's just gonna die too easily. I hope you like my invention. I hope I'm not making a mistake by leaving them on the field. Next turn, I get acidic swamp ooze. Yeah, they're just gonna keep going for me. I'll put it on your Ooh. All right, they're gonna get more stuff on the field. Fan of knives, please. That's not a fan of knives. Right. Probably acidic swamp ooze and punch something in the face. I wonder. I'm thinking probably. I've got a card advantage. That's a nice thing. They played a lot of stuff. Fine, ignore the stuff I have on the board. I'm okay with that. Because you're getting low on cards. And yet we're equal on health. 
Probably gonna play the Razorfin Hunter again. Let me wow, I can't type. Put it on your hand. Did you did you seriously just ancient brewmaster? You're ancient brewmaster, really? Hmm. Maybe just Silverhand Knight. Alternatively, I could punch another thing in the face. Torn Warrior and punch something in the face? Does that make sense? Not really. Let's get stuff on the board. Ready, sir. Here we go. Next turn, I can Argent Commander. They could... I... What what mana does it cost for Consecration? Wait, is that even a Paladin ability? Or is that a Priest thing? I don't even remember. I'm so good at Hearthstone. Ready to ride. Uh, take it out with your two cards, okay. Attack me in the face with your Ancient Brewmaster, probably. Razor Fan Hunter? Is that when the Razor Fan Hunter comes out? Yep. Ooh. Good combo with a Murloc War Leader. Yes, 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 yes. So that would leave me with a 4-2 and a 3-2. So many options. I think maybe just kill the Ancient Brewmaster. And then get this stuff out. Hmm. I wonder. Or I could just charge it down, which is probably the better option. Yeah, let's just charge that down. That's precisely what it's for. They could buff their stuff. I'm kind of low on health. They could, like, Blessing of Kings and whatnot. I hope I don't get smacked in the face with a bunch of buffs here. They only have three damage potential at the moment. A Blessing of Kings would only get them, what, plus four, plus four? Okay, I guess they don't. Unless they're going to sink it into the boar. Are they going to make a very angry boar? low health. Hmm. Five, six, seven. Uh, let's see. I think I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, okay. Alright. Swap this so I can punch through this. Get rid of their damage potential. I only have a 1-3 on the board. And... Oh yeah.
Right, I don't have lethal on the board at the moment. Oh. Now I'm sad. Damn you, owl! You and your iron beak and your... Fuzz okay, you're kind of cute, actually. Right. Hmm. Assassin's Blade plus, plus Deadly Poison to give me a 5-4. Hmm. It would also put me on extremely low health. Wait, I don't have lethal, do I? There's no way. 3, 4, 5, 6. No. I can do 11 damage. Hmm. I think I need to kill what they have on the board. And I don't really want to take the damage to do it myself. Hmm. Maybe we should just get the Ravenhold Assassin out there. No. Alright. Yeah, I want to shut down their ability to buff their stuff, although they still, of course, have this 1-1. One, one. But, like, I can't really take too much more damage, or I'm going to get killed by them simply buffing a creature or two and then just punching me in the face. And this they can't deal with. Hmm. Right, that I can't deal with. <laughs> this is not good. That, yeah, holy crap. Oh my god. If I punch that in the face, I'm basically dead. I think I just lost. I have to kill that. And I don't have lethal against them, right? No, I can do five, 7 plus 5. They only have 11 damage potential on the board, and I have 12 health. <laughs> like, okay, I could kill that if I punch it with my face and then punch it with you. Which would be as if I just took the damage anyway. So there's no point. I need to put the Torn Warrior up. Actually, the Torn Warrior is a good play. I have to hope they can't get through my Torn Warrior wall and kill me. At the moment, if they use their Silverhand Recruit and their Master Swordsmith, they couldn't get through it. They'd have to use all of their attacks against it. Or they could use their Molten Giant and then use their 1-1 and 1-1 against me. That's not good. But if they can't get through to my Ravenhold Assassin, I think I'm gonna be okay. What do you have? You have 8 mana. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Don't play a card. Please don't play a card. What are you playing? Stop. No. Don't. Please? No? No, what do you have? What is it? Please don't be a taunt. Or if it is a taunt, have it have one health. I don't even think that exists in the game, but please, don't. No. Please? No. What the hell do you have in your hand? Let me think. Is it GG? Or... I, they're, they're taking so long, I th uh, What is it? Uh, what is it? Oh, fuck me. Do I have anything in my hand that could possibly do anything? Do I have anything in my hand that could save, save me? Alright, let's see. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I can combo this. So that's four damage I can get. 
Are you kidding me? I can do 11 damage. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I can do 11 damage. I didn't miscount that, right? 4 damage in total, attack with the weapon and the combo is 4 plus 7, which is 11. Jesus. Well hmm. 11 damage. 11 damage. That was a close game. That was a really close game. You know, I'm realizing a trend where I seem to lose my first game. It's all pretty good. I'm going to keep it. You better not have a Warlock deck. I mean, Warlock deck. You better not have a Murloc deck. Oh, I was gonna play River Crocolisk, but the Mad Bomber is probably the way to go. Then again, if I don't Mad Bomber, I could River Crocolisk and then Raging Worgen, and then Mad Bomber and Novice Engineer with the hopes of triggering the Raging Worgen with the Mad Bomber. What's a better play? Should I just get it off the board? I'm gonna go for it. Let's see what happens. Playlist, then the Raging Worgen, then the Mad Bomber and the Novice Engineer. Maybe, maybe, it could, it could turn out amazing. Or it might turn out horrible. Just please don't have more Murlocs. What are the chances they have more Murlocs? So many possibilities. Okay. Those are the chances they have more Murlocs. I'm definitely playing Mad Bomber next turn. Yeah, let's play Mad Bomber. Let's, uh... Let's hit him in the face. In the unlikely case that all three hit my... River Crocolisk. Come on, Mad Bomber. Come on, Mad Bomber. No? Yes? Eh, that's not bad. I'll take it. I got rid of the most damage on the board. And I can kill you for free with my Argent Squire. Is it Raging Organ time? Or Gnomish Inventor? I could Novice Engineer and punch one of them in the face. I wonder. Which doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Or I could just Raging Worgen and kill their stuff, I could kill that. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's get the Raging Worgen out there. Let's trade this. I'll leave you. Because you... I can bash with my Raging Organ next turn. Unless they decide to trade it out with my Argent Squire. Which would be perfectly fine too. Probably Assassin's Blade next turn. Or it could just die. They seriously are playing a Murloc deck, aren't they? In Arena. A Murloc Warlock deck. Oh, there's my own Murloc. Cool. Right. I guess just a Gnomish Inventor in the Murloc Tide Color? Nothing, nothing else really makes any sense. Oh, both my weapons. Well, there's still the Perdition's Blade, of course. Not exactly the cards I want at the moment. I really only need one. Right, so they have a card advantage, obviously. Give me a quest. That's gonna die immediately. Yeah, let's just Assassin's Blade that, huh? Actually, should I? Should I Assassin's Blade it? I could kill it with everything I have on the board. And do an Office Engineer and a River Crocolisk. It's, it's the same damage potential on the board, though. Like, I'm not really gaining anything. I think I'm just going to punch in the face. Yeah, I need cards, so I'm probably going to play the Novice Engineer. Defias, hello. Wow, I can get a lot of cards on the board. Okay. Well, let's play this first. See what I get. Hmm. Actually, I might play that over the Torn Warrior. I mean, over the River Crocolisk. Potential to enrage it. You know, I don't know what AoEs Warlocks have. Should I avoid playing everything? I, I'm gonna get stuff out, whatever. Punch you in the face with everything. There we go. Normally I don't use weapons against people, but... It's got a lot of durability, plus I have another one, so... Might as well use it. Wow, they really don't have much to play, do they? Hold on, wait a minute. Do I have lethal? I need to ask myself that first. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't. Okay. 
So... I'd like to enrage my Torn Warrior, but it's going to die no matter what against the Scarlet Crusader. Um, so let's not do that. In fact, should I just ignore it? Why don't I just ignore it? I fight. I think you should just ignore it. Well, okay, I'll pop his divine shield. I'll keep this in my hand, just in case something horrible happens this turn, and the entire board is wiped or something. Yeah, see? I was worried something like that might happen. <laughs> GG. Unless I get the worst luck here, G freaking G. Mad Bomber. Don't fail me! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Well played. Ooh. All right, one one. I'm going to twelve. I'm gonna finish twelve one, guaranteed. I'm f I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Answer. Do I want you? Hmm. Eh. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I don't. I don't really like you, Wild Pyromancer. I don't know what to do with you. I'll keep these two. That's not the greatest. Yeah, I would have liked a two coster minion. The pleasure is mine. Greetings, friend. You know, I never know whether to go for the totems or not. Like, do I just leave that thing there? It, they almost seem like distractions more than anything. I could burn a card with backstab to kill it and get a Defias out. So many options. Like should like should I expend a backstab on that thing? For the sake of getting a Defias out, maybe I should. All right, I'll do it. Next turn, I could... Alright, so next turn, I could Coin, Perdition's Blade, and Deadly Poison. Or I could just Torn Warrior. Let the pain speak to me. Hmm. <laughs> Take Master over Spark. <laughs> the hell do I do with you, man? Right, well, uh, I really want to kill that thing with three damage, so that it just dies. Do I really want to use my Perdition's Blade, like, on their face, and then Deadly Poison it, and then hit that? I don't know. You know what? YOLO. Tank Master! RNG! Yeah! Good job, Tinky. <laughs> five five devil sore on turn three. Oh. 
Didn't expect that, did you? What you want? Ooh. Yep, they're gonna get two cards out of that thing. And kill something. Well played. Right. Perdition's Blade is looking rather nice right about now. Probably just kill that thing. Okay, so what can I do? Let's see. I could coin River Crocolisk, Perdition's Blade that. Hmm. Hit that. Alright. Get the early pressure in, I can probably just kill the Flame Tongue Totem next turn, I hope. I mean, so long as what they play doesn't have charge or taunt, I can just kill the Flame Tongue Totem next turn. And undo its effects. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Bomber looks rather nice right about now, doesn't he? Yes, he does. If I can just hit the bear once, I can punch him in the face. And get my damage through the gate. Or I could just straight up deadly poison. Nah, let's go for it. Come on, Mad Bomber, come on, Mad Bomber. Once, once, just once. No. No. Right. Should I just bite the bullet and deadly poison it? I think I need to punch through. So many. <sighs> I want to play the Torn Warrior, but I really want to punch through with my Devil Sore. They've already taken a lot of damage, and I want to press that. Alright, scary this damn thing that's becoming quite a nuisance. Alright, they're very low in health and I have a lot of damage on the board. In fact, I have 10 damage, which combined with my weapon is... Or hell, combined with my Argent Commander is, well, game, unless they have heal or taunt or some removal. And they've overloaded, so they only have 5 mana to work with. Alright. I could punch through that with my Argent Commander, which is still GG. Don't be another taunt. It's not. I think that's GG, right? Yeah, they killed that, but they also took the damage. Yeah, that's GG. Yep. Punch through that. Five, six, seven, eight. GG. Man, towards the end of games, my heart rate starts to go up. I get nervous. Master Overspark. I will keep you, you lovely individual. 
Actually, should I? I probably shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. Mm, no. He's better late game, I think. Later. A little bit later. That's, okay, that's... Wow, two mad bombers. A little bit too mad for me. Well met. The pleasure is mine. Hmm, how do I play this? Do I coin a mad bomber? Do I coin a mad bomber? So many options. I think I should. I mean, I could play this and then a mad bomber next turn, but really, this card isn't very good unless I have other murlocs and only have, what, one other? Eh, I'll do it. Hit me more than the enemy. Thank you, Mad Bomber. I love you, too. Probably just Mad Bomber again. And then Raging Morgan on turn three. Definitely gonna mad bomber. Oh, actually, no. Never mind. They're using it to kill that, which is a very bad trade on my part. As a one coster for a two coster, right? Mad bomber again. No other play really makes sense. So mad bomber. Wow. Thank you, mad bomber. I appreciate the fact that twice in a row you hit me more than the enemy. I can see that we are best of friends. Hmm. I think just take that out Enraging Worgen, which can hopefully take out the boar and enrage itself at the same time. Yep, that makes the most sense. Next turn, I can Murloc Tide. <sighs> so much for that. Murloc Tide Caller and Fan of Knives, which with only one, one one out there does not make any sense. Oh, great. What is that? All right, let's figure out what that is. What is it? You like my invention. Didn't trigger. Okay. Maybe it's the one where you, when you attack them, it instead attacks a different minion. I should probably just punch that in the face. Hmm. Alright, let's just... Yeah, it's probably gonna pop a secret, right? No? Oh. What the hell is it? I'm not even sure what secrets paladins have. Uh, eye for an eye? Is that something they have? Hmm. Okay. This is awkward. Think the best way to deal with this is most likely... Alright, let's do this. Get the combo, do two damage. Punch you in the face. I'm taking a lot of damage here, but at least I have some board presence. With <laughs> a 2 1 and a 1 1 board presence. Woohoo! Yeah, screw you two. At least I have a card advantage. The only advantage I have. Two deadly poisons. Alright, so I'm definitely playing the Rivenholt Assassin next turn. No doubt about that. Hmm. 
I don't know if I really want to use my deadly poisons on that. Or my fan of knives. They might have buffing stuff, though. That's what I'm really worried about, that they're going to buff it to hell and punch me in the face. Alright, I'm going to shut that down. No buffing for you. And if they play a bunch of tiny things, I can fan of knives. And I have to say, I am a fan of knives. That's not a small thing. Reporting for duty. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I don't Ravenhold Assassin. I could punch you in the face, hit the Squire with that, and then Fan of Knives. I wonder. What's the alternative? Could play the Ravenhold Assassin and ignore it all, but I'm, low I'm on low health. And my only real advantage is my card advantage. I'd like to... I'd like to remove the stuff they have on the board. I could Assassin's Blade and Deadly Poison, which would give me 5-5-4. Five, five, hmm. But it would only leave me with 2 mana with which to do nothing. That's not good. Okay, um, let's just do this preemptively. And see what I get. I don't want to use that on anything they have at the moment. Here we go. Right. I'm on low health, but I'm denying them any buffage. Reporting for two. Right. As long as I don't touch that thing. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> I don't know what that could be. No problem. Backstab, I suppose I should keep that. Alright, what is this thing? What is it? Okay, yeah, so that. Get out of the way, noble sacrifice! Alright, that's fine. I hear you got a problem. Yeah, I mean, that thing, as long as it can't take damage. It's not very effective. But at the moment, it can't, so I don't want to even hit it. Okay, that's getting sapped. Maybe. Probably. Yeah, it's probably getting sapped. Ooh. Crazy plays with a crazy alchemist. Look at what I can do. Okay. I can swap it, get it down to two hit points, and use backstab on it. So many options. Wow. Okay, here's what's gonna go down. I'm gonna swap you. Get off the board, you piece of shit boulder fist ogre, I hate you. I'm just gonna play it next turn, of course, but it buys me time. Um Assassin's Blade, punch him in the face. Here we go. See if that triggers a secret. What is the secret? Eye for an eye. Oh. Well, that's not good for me. I've probably lost it simply due to low health. Like, do I even have lethal next turn? I'm... EGG. <laughs> okay. I might have lost, but I'm pretty proud of myself for that fancy play at the end. That was pretty cool. That was enjoyable to play. It's fun to make silly combos. 
2 2. Okay, so maybe I won't quite get to 12 wins. I can get to 11, though. No problem. Wow, that is actually, like, I almost ideal. I will take it all. Can't exactly combo the Defias. Do I really want to wait for it? I don't, though. Usually if I wait, bad things happen. I mean, they could waste their entire turn, and all of their mana, on popping off the Divine Shield, but that'd be pretty stupid, so... The Argent Squire is probably safe. I wonder... Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to play the Defias if I have a reasonable alternative, and I do. They might just pick off my 2 1. That is not an ideal time to play Crazed Alchemist. But I guess they didn't have much of a choice, or they wouldn't have done that. What are you doing? Wait, what? Did you just freeze my 1-1 one, one Argent Squire? What? Are you... Okay. I'm perfectly okay with that. I am totally okay with that. Um... Let's see. That hopefully that denies them the possibility of killing my raging worgen with their crazed alchemist plus a plus a ping with the fire blast. Next turn I can shiv and defias, which is precisely what I'm going to do. Probably. Hold on. There are alternative. There are alternatives here. I'm thinking about the raging. So many options. Hmm. All right, they're probably just gonna kill my raging after next turn, but so many options. In the meantime. Let's see what we get here. Alright. Defias it is. Punch you in the face, get Wind Fury. There we go. They're almost certainly just gonna ping it off, because that's eight damage on the board right there. Mm-hmm. But that uses half of their mana, so I still have quite an advantage. I still have five damage on the board. Next turn, I could punch anything they have in the face, or get a River Crocolisk out. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna River Croc. Or... I get Defender of Argus. Hmm, which one's better? Well, this one gets me two three of stats out on the board, and I can't do anything else, really, other than dagger up. 
This one gets me 2-2 two, two of extra stats plus the 3-3 three, three of itself. Yeah, let's go with that. My shield for Argus. I fight. <laughs> I've got a lot of weak minions, so I'm hoping to do a lot of damage before a turn 7 flame strike. Which they probably have. But it is arena, so maybe they don't. You never know. Well, now they probably have it. Wow, they really don't have good cards, do they? Okay. I might just do tons of damage to their face. Like... Like, yeah, I mean... I can do 5 damage to that, so... 6, 7, 8... Plus 5, which is 13. I think I'm just gonna go for their face. They can't even flame strike next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. YOLO. They still can't flame strike. Okay, um, it's unless you have taunt, it's GG. GG. Well played. Let me make sure I don't mess this up. Let me make sure I don't mess this up. Punch you in the face. This. And there we go. I'm one minion short of doing the daily quest. But anyway, I got the three wins once again. No matter what happens, I'm at least moderately happy. And if I only get ten more gold, I can do two more arena runs. Which, well, I mean, obviously I'm going to, since I, if I kill one more minion, I will complete a daily quest. That gives me 40 gold. I will fight with honor. Watch your back. Band of Knives, Hell No, Mad Bomber, Defias. Sure. Not the greatest. But not bad. The pleasure is mine. Well met. That's definitely a mad bomber there. Yellow. So wait, let's see. What is there? That, what is the chance of actually killing? That's a one in three chance. And then, then I think it's times a one in three chance. So there's a one in nine chance. No, no, that'd be for all three, right? No, one in th three, one in. Th I don't. I'm not. Never mind. That's totally wrong. Anyway, away, mad bomber. And no. Wow. Wonderful. Good job. Good job, mad bomber. As always, letting me down. Oh, great. Well, GG, I've already lost. What the hell do I do here? I guess Defias. I mean, it will kill anything they have on the board. Do I save my Acidic Swampoos? Or play my Defias? They could have a true silver champion. I'm just gonna play it. I've been noticing a sound lately, like a distant roar or something. Well, looks like another bad bomber. Come on, don't fail me again. Yes, yes. Nice. Pretty good. 
Now do I just acidic swamp boost? Is it better to just put it out now? I'm just gonna put it out. I'm not gonna save it too long. <laughs> They're probably gonna play a true silver champion or something. Right around the corner. What do you fucking know? At least the board's wiped. Alright, I see your weapon. I'll punch you in the face with my... No, that's stupid. Yep, just kill my... No mission venter. Let's... Let's take the rest of the True Silver Champion. True Silver Champion. Just... Absorb the damage on something that's less than... Great. Nope, we're gonna be working on that Oasis Snapjaw for a long time. Please give me something I can work with. I could shiv that thing. <laughs> Just to get a card. You know what? Torn Warrior is actually the best play, because even if he attacks it, even if they attack it with the Oasis Snapjaw, it's not gonna die, and it will be enraged. Yeah, so if they attack my Torn Warrior, if they're a waste of Snapjaw, it'll become enraged, it can do 5 damage, and then it'll have 5 health, and I can just kill it. Right. Never mind. And everything's ruined. Like, seriously, I'm pretty sure I've just lost this game at this point. I mean, holy hell. Okay, fan of knives. Can that do anything of worth? Hmm. I could shiv it. Get it down to four health. Fan of knives. Give it all. Get it all down to three. I don't know what the hell to do here. I don't I don't like any of my options. I wonder. Hmm. See what I get here. None of my options seemed really good at all. Yeah. They have more cards, they've done more damage to me. They have an advantage in every possible way. Cards, health, and... and the board. Yeah, okay. Game over. Well, okay. I can kill it. I can kill that thing. I get Fan of Knives and then Deadly Poison. Um... Let's see what I get first. Okay, that's nice. Well, Pyromancer. Do I want to use that? No, I really don't. Alright, die now, please. I'm removing their stuff, but once again, I still have a board disadvantage. And a card disadvantage, and a health disadvantage. Next turn, if they ignore my stuff, I can Defender Vargas.
The gates are open. Jesus Christ. There's no way. There's no... I mean, I could punch through that again. But then I'm practically dead at that point. I'll have seven health left. Right. Am I going to get a spell? That's not a spell, so I can't Wild Pyromancer the 5 1. Hmm. Well, I can remove most of their damage potential from the board. Yeah, okay. Here we go. So I punch that in the face. I kill that. And buff, buff, buff. Whew. That puts me in a very good position, amazingly, but again. Massive health disadvantage, massive card disadvantage. I have 11 damage on the board, plus 5 in my hand. So that's 16 damage I can do. Let me think. To Northrend! Ooh, they're gonna get oh, they're gonna get even more cards. Great. Wow, nice play. They're making just such good plays. That Silverhand Knight was oh my god was really lucky for me, but all of my luck has now pretty much run out. Right. Do I really want to take that damage? Do I take that damage and keep damage on the board to go for them? Do I have a choice? So many options. I mean, I could deadly poison, get seven damage, but then it's just going to break. No, I shouldn't do that. Um... I, I, I'm too low on health. I'm pretty much lost. There's like no nothing good I can do at this point. That's eight damage. Make that nine. What do I have? <laughs> A backstab. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <sighs> okay. I mean, what? The only chance I have of winning is if I remove what they have on the board. Here we go. There. I'll have two hit points left, assuming they don't have anything that buffs. Or does damage to me. There's almost no way I could win this. There's, there's practically nothing in my deck that could get me back from this. Well played. <sighs> Whoops. Yay! 40 gold from the daily quest. Consolation prize. Alright, well, I got the three wins again. Hmm. I was hoping after changing my strategy a bit I'd get more wins, but... I don't know, I guess it, it didn't really seem like a very good rogue deck, to be honest. It didn't have any SI agents, it had... It didn't have a lot of combos. No eviscerate whatsoever. 
Yeah, I love Rogue, but that definitely was not the most fun Rogue deck to play. But anyway, again, I got the three wins, so I'm pretty happy with that. Wow, that is more gold than I expected. 55 in a pack. Wow, for only three wins, I've made back more than the value of the arena. A pack is 100 gold, plus 55 gold is 155. A fair run, yep. 3-3. Three, three. Master Swordsmith. And there's an Eviscerate. Could have used you in there. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and I will be back soon for some more arena runs.